Welcome YouTube. Hi. Welcome Dano here with the peanut. Uh, we've got kind of a uh, Batman uh, focused episode. It's Batman this time. themed. So we're looking at you know some good reads, but I also have a resource here. Um, this is Batman: A Visual History. Comes in a nice uh, slipcase. Yeah. I'll hold that up. Um, so it's cool hardcover bound um, book, um, but as a comic collector, I have found that this is an excellent resource because as you flip through it, um, you know you've got individual issues uh, highlighted here with uh, what's going on. You know, so, and it's not just Batman issues. For example, you've got Teen Titans there. You've got Brave and the Bold here. Um, but there's fantastic art, as you can see. It's kind of a chronological uh, book from back, you know, all the way back from uh, the origins in 1939, 1940, um, up until uh, fairly recent times but we've got some Justice League here this is the 1987 I think uh, Justice League uh, so anyway this is a really cool resource awesome art in there and then as a you know if you are a collector um, it also uh, you know gives you a lot of information about individual issues and you can see a lot of the, the covers uh, that that are out there and you know why you might might want to pick up those issues or keep an eye out for them so just wanted to share that again that's batman a visual history and that's re uh, that's really good for somebody who doesn't know where to collect or how to yeah start. yeah it's a good it's a good um because there's so many batman right stories out right. there so it can help you kind of narrow down by character or you know which Robin you like, or or so on. But it's a great resource for uh, uh, for the comic collector, or just the Batman fan, for that matter. The enthusiast. So what do you got for us? Um, I have. We'll start with Batman White Knight. Um, you, so good. Yeah, you're the one that told me about this. I don't normally read um, the superhero um, books as as much. Um, this one, Joker Goes Sane. So I kind of had to read it just to see how he did it as a resource. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, Harley Quinn is in there. Um, the art is amazing. I think the art and it's it's written... Yeah, the story and the art is both by... Uh, Sean Murphy. Sean Mor Murphy, yep. And it does say Sean Murphy was born to draw... Batman, and it's I, it's very true. It, he he does a really great job. Um, the story is really amazing. It's um, I I guess I don't want to give a whole lot away, but you do you do kind of learn about um, the Joker a little bit. Like I didn't even know Joker's real name was Jake T T Tapir. T Jake. Uh, Jack Napier. Napier, yeah. Yeah. So, for which somebody, is a nod to the 1989 Batman movie, right? With uh, Jack Nicholson. Oh, that was his name in that. Oh, yeah, it was. We watched that the yeah. other. See what I mean? This one, you'll you'll learn a lot. And it's really cool the way it flips the script, so to speak. So, Joker all of a sudden is like this benevolent. Leader, I think he runs for mayor, mm -hmm. or yeah. you know maybe a city council office yeah. or something. He starts winning people over, and in the process makes Batman look pretty foolish because Batman's yeah. buying none of it. And um, but as more and more people start uh, believing what the Joker's uh, selling here, uh, start buying what the Joker's selling, Batman finds himself all alone. And, that was and going that after was this, kind of yeah. So it's yeah. it's kind of interesting. Um, it's really well done. And as you, as most people probably know, um, there's a sequel to this 
the last issue just came out this week, which was the last new comic book day uh, for a while. Um, so that hopefully they'll be putting out a uh, you know a, a trade version of it uh, soon of the sequel. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely worth reading. And I and would you say that you don't need to know a whole lot about Batman or the other Batmans to read this one? Yeah, yeah, I think you can you jump can, right in. You can, jump you can right even in. just read it if you're like a car enthusiast, because Sean Gordon Mur- Murphy, he loves the hot rods and the Batmobile, and I he did notice incorporates the a ton yeah. of them in there. So uh, even if you're just like a car, a car a guy, car guy, yeah. But um, yeah, it's a it's a great great story. I don't think you need to know a whole lot. Um, yeah, you, you need to know that usually the. You know, Usually that man's Batman the hero the and Joker is the bad guy. Exactly. Um, I th- so that was it. All right. Very good. Um, I just was going to highlight one uh, Batman story here, and that is The Black Mirror. It is a Detective Comics uh, story um, that appeared before the New 52. Uh, it's by Scott Snyder. And... Uh, you know, I think it's what really um, cemented his. Uh, I, I would guess, and if it hadn't already been planned, that when Scott Snyder got the gig for writing Batman in the New Fifty Two, that this is what did it because it's um, it's a fantastic story. It's um, the art is by Jock, Jock, and you know, as if you're a collector, everyone's familiar with. I think it's uh, Detective Comics Eight. Yeah. 80, the um, the jock cover that's just amazing. So that appeared in this in this run. Um, but if all you're familiar with is the awesome jock cover, um, you know you you're in for a treat, I guess, with the. And with you the really like because I remember getting this for you because I didn't know what to get you, and I remember you really enjoying it. Yeah, yeah. And I, I wasn't sure. If you were going to. And this starts off, um, you know, it's a little bit different. I don't know if you remember the stories back then, but Batman is kind of off um, creating the Batman Incorporated world. So Dick Grayson is actually Batman in this story, which, you know, makes is another interesting, uh, another interesting thing. So he's working with Commissioner Gordon. Um but it's, you know, it's, it's a great run. So I think it's, yeah, Detective Comics 871 to 881 is, uh, is the run on that. Um, but definitely worth reading if you've never read the uh, stories. Or, you know, if you have, it's worth checking out again because it's great. And if you like story. Scott Snyder and the way that he writes, and if you like Jacques and his art, then I would definitely pick this one up. This is the next one I'm going to read. I'm bound to determine to read the key Batmans, the Long Halloween. Yeah, that's a great Hush, story. Yep. Court of Owls, all those. So um, that's my goal. So um, this will be on the list. Excellent. All right. Where are we here at we, now? Here we go, guys. Okay, okay. I knew these were coming out sooner or later. Okay, now, now I will be, I will say... I right now I'm a hypocrite because I just said I don't enjoy the superhero type of um, she liked these. stories. Who boy did DC really do me a service by doing bombshells? These are so great. So basically, here I'll, I'm going to read you guys what they're about. Can you hold this one up before we do the cover? Sure. Because we are avid collectors of. Anything and everything bombshell, DC bombshell. So, they so learn the story behind this alternate reality where the Second World War is fought by superpowered women on the front lines behind the scenes, and it all begins with the stories of Batwoman, Wonder Woman, and Supergirl. Joker's daughter is in it. Harley Quinn is in it. Um, they did an amazing amazing job i would have to say i was it's all really um woman driven they the the women save all the men 
Um, they're saving the front lines. They're back at home doing all the work. And um, the art is what I really fell in love with. The story is great. I suggest the these two, um, the trades. Um, the art is Aunt Lucia and uh, Marguerite, Mar Mar uh, Marguerite Bennett and Marguerite Savage. I think uh, I can't Bennett read, is guys. the uh, <laughs> uh, the writer. Yeah, so you can see in some of them, and there's there's like a there's a bunch of different twists. Like there, here's Harley. Isn't that I mean, she, She's on yeah. Bob. So it's really and, a kind of a cool concept, I mm -hmm. think, because it's you know during World War II you had uh, women really stepping up and. Uh, having a big role at home, right? Rosie the Riveter and so yeah. forth. And so I think the idea was, hey, let's kind of take that concept, apply it to the superheroes. So um, I don't remember if, like, there are no men superheroes or if they're just kind of assumed to be out on the, on the front lines and the women are doing some of the... It's not just home front crime fighting they they do a lot of uh espionage stuff right? yeah yeah um, no the men the men in the story there there are the men in the story um but they're kind they kind of play the submissive role in the story oh, cool so the women are dominant throughout yeah the so whole it's story. and it's a very inclusive um uh book you know uh women lbgt Q. Q. Um, mm -hmm. It's all all very inclusive, which is kind of cool. Yeah. So um, you can see these are the, some of the. And we, we actually this one I believe we have signed by Aunt Lucia or one. No, of we don't have it um, signed, but we've got a, a graded copy of that one. So um, you so you can see the relationships, the dynamics, everything kind of changed. So it is. You're right. It's it's very inclusive and. Um, really great. So when these came out and I read them, I instantly fell in love with the art. And then Dan got me um, this book, which is the art of the of the bombshells. We have seven seven statues. I know you'll correct me if I'm wrong. I but I counted seven, I believe, um, yeah, of right. the of the statues, and they're so amazing. Um, the I, lo I, lo I just love them all. Can you hold this while I flip oh, through yeah, it? Oh, sure. If you um, are interested, I would also pick this up, too. There's Joker's daughter. Um, there's a statue of her. And um, so they just basically make them look like um, pinups. But it's not just... They're, but don't get it wrong. They're not... They're really strong women in the story. They're yeah. not just, like, there for their looks. Um and so these are, yes, yeah, so like we have, we have Batman. Yeah, we have this statue, which is, I love. Yeah. Um, yeah, so there's not just the Bombshells comics themselves, but DC also did a bunch of Bombshells uh, covers, uh, variant covers yeah. for their regular books. So. so so this one's probably my favorite, this one right here. Yeah, it's this gorgeous. one we have, and then we have her as the statue, because she's my, my absolute favorite. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, and uh, let's see, Catwoman. So you can kind of see it's a big nod to pinups and everything. And the um, artist, Aunt Lucia, um, he, he said that he didn't realize what he was doing when he when he was drawing these because so many women would come up to him and say thank you for for drawing real women and he was kind of like i don't want to take responsibility that i'm changing the way women look or anything because some women don't look like poison ivy right here but i think what women were saying was we um we have to pay a lot of money to look like vampirella so thank you for making us look just like women, I suppose. Uh, we have this statue as well. This is Mara. Um, yeah, and these comics are all signed by. Yo, yeah. Aunt so Lucia. all of these are He's, signed. We, you know, we didn't go to C two E two this year, but we have gone the last few years, and each year we take, uh, you know, a few more of these comics and have them sign it because he's. Um, 
He's, he's really, super easy to talk to. And, he's really uh, nice. Really nice. And we so. have this statue, too, which I love, which is just, it's review. Basically, the whole thing is it just reverses roles. So, so then what you what you expect in Batman, just think the opposite, yeah. and that's what you're going to get with DC bombshells. And Kate Kane, I know this, one, yeah. this one's one of your favorites too. Um, so, so that that. Yeah, those are all. And then the last super thing. Super cool and a lot of fun. To finish our uh, Batman themed video. Um, I'm reading Watchmen in philosophy right now, which it's I have to put down because sometimes it's a little it's a little depressing, especially now. But Batman in philosophy, um, you loved yeah. this one a lot. So you bought me this book a long time, like 15 years ago, I want to say maybe yeah. maybe not quite that long ago, but um, you know, 10 years ago or whatever. And I started reading it, and it's making reference to all these Batman stories, and I realized I didn't know a lot of them. So that's when I started really, you know, making a concerted effort to, um, uh, you know, read some of these Batman stories, and yeah. we went down to uh, uh, Galactic Greg. Started, that's when you really jumped off yeah, with the... Yeah, um, I asked yeah, him hush. for... Exactly. So once I started reading some of those, then, you know, th this makes more sense. Yeah. Um, but I and was they, not aware of... Uh, anyway, it, it was really a big spur for me to get you know, yeah. reading the comics. And I think these are really great. You can get... Um, there's Metallica in philosophy. There's... Oh, Big, Lebow big Lebowski in philosophy. <laughs> That's the one that I want to get next because I just think that will be awesome. Um, Battlestar Galactica, The Office in philosophy. Like oh, I said, nice. I'm reading Watchmen and philosophy right now and it does incorporate the basic um premises of of philosophy and kind of just asking the questions of morality and how these characters kind of play into things i think i bought a friend um princess bride and philosophy so these are i think these are good to kind of read and then they do give you because they'll like with this one it will give you like he said reference the long Halloween so then it'll kind of make you want to go and read it so yeah. you know it's a good thing just to have on your bedside while you're while you're reading Batman so I guess that's all we have for our Batman all right. well thanks for uh, thanks for watching thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you again stay safe stay safe bye guys